Movies based on another medium always have some sort of constraint. Something that can't really have a proper transition like, say, anime. With anime, you can get away with more since you can do things that could be difficult for an actor to perform. But it doesn't mean that a movie can be faithful to the original material. Many based on manga have Old Boy, Death Note, and the first of today's double bill. Another franchise player, Gantz. Oi, cut! Two estranged school friends are at a tube station. A man has fallen on the tracks. Somebody help him! Some people cry. One of the friends jumps down to help. He sees his old friend and tries to beckon him over. He succeeds in getting the man off the tracks, but can't get up himself. With the train rapidly approaching, the friend comes over to help. But he's pulled onto the tracks too. They're out of time, the train is coming and it looks like death is their next destination. Just at the impact of death, they materialize in a large room. There are other people in the room, but at the other end is a black sphere known as Gantz. They're informed by Gantz that they have to go out and kill aliens. They're given weapons and uniforms. There's a time limit and points up for grabs. They must not deviate. Them's the rules. Kira-chan! Oh! 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 From one legendary franchise to another, Death Note fans will recognize Kenichi Masuyama, his star-making performance as the genius detective L. One observation, the uniforms they're given to wear remind me a lot of the Fremen wear from Dune. Now I've seen a few episodes of the anime and I've enjoyed it thus far, but this reminds me of the 1998 movie Sphere, a golden orb on a spaceship at the bottom of the ocean that has the power to make dreams and nightmares manifest. Can I ask you something about this reflective surface? Yeah, it appears to be mercury, doesn't it? Except mercury's liquid at this temperature. Oh no, that's not what I'm talking about. What worries me is that it's reflecting everything but us. I hate to be the one non-scientist that fixes this up, guys. But who made it? Who made Gans? Is this the afterlife for the selected few? Was creator Hiraya Oku inspired by Sphere? I have no idea. This is why I love science fiction. The possibilities. No restrictions on participants. People from all walks of life. 